pop music is often seen in this kind of lower way in the jazz context because it doesn't really deal with harmony. I definitely don't think of it as a lower thing at all. I'm very inspired by it. The sound that I've been in touch with all my life. It's kind of like someone's companion. It helps them deal with things that they're going through. I think it's easier for pop music to deal with these subjects because the last thing that they're thinking about is being correct. Whereas with jazz, there's such a demand for authenticity. What attracts me about jazz music is just going for it and really shooting for the stars trying to achieve what hasn't been possible before on your instrument. Virtuosity. In a way that can inhibit ideas. I like to get the best of both worlds. the sounds that are they're available anytime you want. You, know, you could search online and find folkloric music or you could also find musicians that actually <laughs> that are currently playing that kind of music in the city and you can collaborate. Me as who I am and just my sort of non-conformist uh, <laughs> uh, ways, I've always wanted to create my own sounds. A big thing for this group is, has always been to collaborate with Sienna and also bring in the voice, so I sing on a lot of tracks. Whatever I'm doing, I, I, I want it to be happening now. The song Streamline, I was thinking of a picture of my nephew skateboarding. There was this picture of Isaac flying. He was doing an aerial that captured this essence of, of shredding and just, I really relate it to music. My nephew died last year and it was a very horrible experience. But I wanted to capture what he gave to me in his short life. Yeah, well, I mean, I just, I don't know how to deal with the emotion of something like that. So rather than try to write something myself, I just thought other people feel what I'm talking about. And I know that Sienna, she'll right away know what I'm talking about. So I'll just give the idea to her. It felt great to have that kind of trust. I just think if you create a dialogue between each other and then ultimately people will relate to that. Sunshine can kind of day. I don't, I, I never get the sense that I need to keep authentic. I know there are tons of incredible musicians out there that, that do it well, so uh, <laughs> I think that that's being taken care of. Yeah, hopefully people are less encumbered now that um, the, uh, the roof is blown off, I guess, in a sense. If you think about what was happening in jazz in the 60s where you had all this fusion, and then and you think of how everything just kind of evaporated, poof, poof, gone. 
And then now, everybody has to sort of go back. If they're going to be into jazz, you have to go to the source. Jazz really was a current thing in its heyday. There was a period where it was current. Now, it's not. There's all this sound that's happening currently, and I'm just I'm putting it together. <laughs> so this is my idea, is to make what I'm doing current. Cool.